Now, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has urged Egyptians to defend the state and its, and its institutions ahead of planned nationwide anti-government protests today. I see there are people calling once again to damage Egypt. Our responsibility is to protect the country's security and stability, and I promise Egyptians that no one will terrorize them again. Now, Sisi stressed that attempts to destabilize the country will be unsuccessful if Egypt stands united. Since early this month, thousands have protested against Sisi's policies, including the transfer of two Red Sea islands to Saudi Arabia. Now, despite a ban on unauthorized protests, activists have called nationwide rallies for Monday. The day is a holiday, marking the 34th anniversary of the return of the Sinai Peninsula from Israel. Well, let's get to you more on this now. We're joined live from Cairo by CCTV's Adele Al Maruki. Adele, uh, especially considering the ban on unauthorized protests, do you think these anti government demonstrations will likely happen today? Well, it seems from where they have been basing their calls and promoting for the protests on social media. Um, in the internet that they are still willing to take the streets and go continue their protests. Um, there have been also some a couple of reports from um, the Muslim Brotherhood urging people to uh, protest and uh, resent any political or ideological differences, referring to the differences between um, the Muslim Brotherhood and many secular um, and liberal powers back when uh, former President Mohamed Morsi was still in power. Um, so from that perspective, it seems that there are still intending to. Um, for about two or three days, they have been setting the locations through which the protest uh, will um, or protesters should be gathering at, um, at the press syndicate, the doctor syndicate, and at one of the metro stations in El Giza area. Um, at least two, the two syndicates at least have been entirely isolated, blocked down. Um, dozens of security forces have been surrounding them. Um, there have been extremely um, um, extreme measures taken to heighten um, the protections around Tahrir Square and around the syndicates. Um, the, the, the streets are completely blocked so that no protester would be able to stand in front um, of the syndicate as the pictures we're seeing um, right now. So there is both ways. Um, the protesters are still intending to go. The security forces seems to be expecting a lot of big numbers of protesters. At least that is apparent from the number of troops on the ground. Now, of course, Adele, one of the uh, triggers for these uh, anti-government demonstrations has been the handover of these two Red Sea islands uh, from Egypt to Saudi Arabia. Why has this issue stirred up such a strong resentment towards the government? Well, there is a general um, sense and, and a general pride in Egypt about the Egyptian land and protecting the Egyptian land. Um, today is the 25th of April, the, um, the anniversary of the Sinai Liberation Day when um, Egypt um, received back um, the Sinai Peninsula after Israel's invasion and after the Egyptian victory in the 1973 war. Um, even after that, President Hosni Mubarak has pursued every last piece of land until he acquired um, Taba uh, in the 80s. So um, there is a, a national sense of how important the land is. All presidents would go on publicly and uh, announce that they will not uh, allow to let just one meter square of the Egyptian land be taken by any um, foreign power. Um, f that is one side, and this is something we um, sh people should know about the Egyptian people in general. But also at the same time, um, the Egyptian president argues um, that the both islands belong to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And <clears throat> during the, um, the Israeli invasion, um, in Egypt was asked to take sovereignty of these lands to protect it so that Israel would not expand its territories to these um, islands and take it, despite that that has already happened. But since then, um, almost all Egyptians who live today believe that these islands belong to Egypt. And this is where the conflict comes. Uh, many blame pol political analysts, particularly blame the Egyptian administration for not handling um, the issue quite um, clearly and transparently to um, 
pave the road for the Egyptian citizens so that they would be um, they would have the knowledge when the sovereignty of these uh, two islands transferred but this did not happen many Egyptians were suddenly surprised with the president announcing the news and the government announcing for the first time in many years officially on television that these islands do not belong to Egypt all right we'll have to leave it there but thanks very much Adele Al-Muruki live for us there uh, in Cairo